Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my birthday baby. My birthday was actually this week, but I found some vintage Cabbage Patch items on Facebook Marketplace in the beginning part of the month, and I went and picked those up. So here in front of me I have the playpen, as well as um, the diaper bag, and this sweet little baby. This is actually the Cabbage Patch that I had when I was a kid, and I remember so clearly um, laying on the floor of Toys R Us and searching through every box on the bottom shelf to find this sweet little baby. I did also have the playpen when I was a kid. I maybe had the diaper bag. I'm not sure. I did have the car seat as well, and I did find one of those. So I've just picked these up, and I haven't even actually cleaned them up and sort of gotten them ready to display yet, but I wanted to go ahead and show you. So I just adore her. I don't remember what my Cabbage Patch, as a kid, what I called her, what her name was, um, but this is the one that I had. I actually sent a picture to my auntie who bought her for me, for me, who stood there making suggestions why, while I laid on the floor of the Toys R Us and tried to decide for a million years which baby to buy. She does have, um, brown hair like mine and pigtails like mine and brown eyes like mine. Um, and I think she is just the sweetest little baby. I am so glad to have her again. I'm so excited and I can't wait to get all of her items cleaned up and on display. Let me show you a few more things that I bought at the same time. Okay, so like I mentioned, I did also find the car seat. This is the same car seat that I had as a kid. And there is a um, like plastic pad that goes in this car seat. But mine didn't have it either. I don't remember, you know, I think mine as a kid, I must have lost that really early on because mine didn't have the padding either. So this is exactly the way that mine was, except for I think mine still did have the, um, the little safety belt. But this is the same little car seat that I had. I never had the high chair, but this is just a cute little high chair that hooks onto the side of a table. I don't even have a dining table in my new apartment yet, but I am going to have one eventually, so I'm really looking forward to displaying this. And one of the things that I never had as a kid, but I was very jealous of my cousins because they had it, was the Cabbage Patch Big Wheel. So you can see here that, you know, just with age, I mean, I, this baby, I think is around a 1984 baby and I'm an 80s child and all of these items were from the early 80s. So as you can see there, I do need to do some repair on the sticker on the seat. Um, but I think this is just so cute and I can't wait to see my sweet little baby riding around on her big wheel. This does also have a push bar. I forgot to pick it up from the very nice lady. Um, but it was so funny because I went to her home to pick up these items and we had a lot of things in common. We chatted for a long time. I really enjoyed meeting her. We have become friends on social media now, and I know that I'm going to be going to see her again, so she's just going to hang on to it for me, and I'm going to pick it up this time. She had a million cabbage patches. She had so many um, just in every room of the house. There were so many. She has a personal collection. She has ones that she buys to sell, and um, she did have another baby that I really loved and really wanted. Um, but I definitely wanted to acquire this one first because this is the one that I had as a child. Now, this lady did also have some clothing items and just ignore my moving boxes in the background there. I'm still unpacking. I think I'll probably be done unpacking about the time that my lease expires a year from now. Um, that's how it feels anyway. So I do have a few boxes in the background and the legs to my desk. Just ignore those. Just pretend they're not there. Um, but I did want to show you the clothing pieces that I picked up. So this sweet little baby, she's wearing this cute little red gown that's flannel. It's red with white polka dots and it has a little red bow. She does also have on her original Cabbage Patch diaper and she does have little white ribbons at the end of her hair. 
And then I'm not sure how well these colors are going to show up on the camera, but let me try to show you. Um, I did pick up this little romper. I'll try to get a little bit closer so you can see. It's actually a like a lavender and white mini check. And it has this beautiful little white panel up at the top here with some lace. There's also lace detailing at the gathered cuffs and around the arms as well. So I just thought this was really pretty. That's why I picked it up. Then I picked up this sweet little top. It's got a white background, layers and layers of um, lace ruffling up at the neck and on the chest there. And it has this teeny tiny little blue rosebud print. Now, I do remember having something in this print. I'm not sure that it was this dress, but I did have something in this print. I remembered the print very clearly. And so that's why I chose this one. I thought it was just so sweet. And then the last clothing item that I picked up was this gorgeous little long gown, like a christening gown almost. It's just white on white. Um, again, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it just has the most beautiful lace detail down the front there. It also has that same lace detail on the sleeves. It's got lace around the collar. It has a slightly different lace around the bottom. Um, it is just so beautiful and it is in perfect condition. I mean, there is not a mark or a blemish anywhere on this dress. Um, hopefully it's come back into focus there. And it did come also with this gorgeous little matching bonnet. So these are the items that I have picked up so far for my birthday baby. So there she is once again with her stunning backdrop of moving boxes. Um, she is in great condition. She does have, you may be able to see the tiniest little mark on her hand, but um, I actually think that I put that mark on her when I was moving her. I kind of did a stupid thing, um, which resulted in me cracking one of my pieces on the big wheel. And also, I think, getting this little dirt smudge on this baby, which is instead of putting her and her items in the bag that I had brought to carry her in, um, I just carried her out in the playpen and I brought her home that way. And I think that was a mistake because, like I said, you know, I, I got her a little bit dirty, I think. I'm pretty sure that that was not on her. I looked her over very carefully at this young woman's home. And, um, I did not see this mark. She was, you know, this lady does, like I said, a, a wonderful job of keeping her babies in good condition. So I think that's my fault. Um, but here this weekend, my goal is to get everything clean and set up and ready to go. And I just wanted to introduce you in the meantime, so here she is. She doesn't have a name yet, but I will keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.